Good morning everybody, it's your pal Martin Miller here. Hope you're going well. Today, it's finally happened. I have left London for the first time in six long months. I have arrived at Stoke-on-Trent at 4.20 in the morning and I made my way to the train station on foot. So now, I'm just waiting for the 6.29 train to Macclesfield to come by and I'll get on board it. And let's make this day all about Ian Curtis and Joy Division. And I made my way to the train station on foot. So now, I'm just waiting for the 6.29 train to Macclesfield to come by and I'll get on board it. And let's make this day all about Ian Curtis and Joy Division. This is a vlog that I've been wanting to do for like the last four years. But as I, I'm not a fan of Joy Division and I don't like that type of music, I've been putting it off for so many, like, years. But, it was part of my list, and I had to do it this year, and I had to do it now, because I visualized I was going to visit Ian Curtis' grave. So let's make it happen. Okay, here we are. Just pulling out of Stoke-on-Trent, heading north. Let's go. I have arrived in Macclesfield. Yes, I'm finally here. Finally in Macclesfield. You know, home of Joy Division and Ian Curtis. I'm just heading south to 77 Barton Road. This is the house where Ian Curtis and Deborah lived. This is the house where Ian Curtis took his own life. Many years ago, the house was for sale and people thought, oh, if somebody, you know, buys this house, will they turn it into a museum? And then there are a lot of people who say, no, it should not be turned into a museum because it's when Ian Curtis took his last breath. So I just kind of feel like it is significant that when someone famous dies in a house, you don't turn it into a museum. You just simply put a blue plaque up that says, So and so so and so lived and died here. I had no idea Macclesfield was full of so many pubs. Maybe Ian Curtis would have stopped by one of these back in the day. Barton Street. Here we are. The street that Ian Curtis of Joy Division lived on and died on. So we need to start looking for number 77. So what the people have told me it is a red brick house at 75 over there. And so this is 77. <laughs> 77. Well that Ian Curtis I lived here but it was um you know, a historic location, Barton Street. Yes. Total turns fifty one. If that's 75, that definitely has to be 77. So, the person who lives number 77 have actually taken the numbers off the house. Hmm. And I'm not too sure if I was dreaming this or not, but I remember there used to be like a plaque up on the wall just to say that, you know, not that Ian Curtis had like lived there, but it was in the same imagery of the first Joy Division album it used to be up there. So there it is. Number 77, the house where Ian Curtis lived with his wife Deborah and tragically took his own life on the 18th of May 1980, 41 years ago. From what I've read on Wikipedia, he took the photographs of his wife and daughter down as he was composing his suicide note and then basically took the clothesline off 
and hung himself on the kitchen table, which I assume would be like this level. So one influential musician of rock and roll lived and died here. May we remember you, Ian Curtis. Just gonna squeeze in a Weatherspoon's breakfast before I get to the crematorium. And this is all vegetarian and tasty and a little bit over five, but it doesn't matter. And I get a free full cup of coffee. I'm getting really closer to Macclesfield Crematorium. And it's quite strange for me to be doing this at this time of the day. Because normally most of my cemetery vlogs are like lunchtime. But, you know, I ended up in Stoke-on-Trent at four o'clock this morning. And so I thought to myself, I might as well get it done now, because there'll be other things I like to see around Macclesfield. Here we are, Cheshire East Council, Macclesfield Cemetery and Crematorium. Open at 8 a.m. Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. Saturday, Sunday, bank holidays. Closed 7.30 p.m. 1st of April to 1st of September, 5.30 p.m. 1st of October to 31st of March. Um, yeah, so this is the main entrance. So all I need to do now is find plot P, and Ian Curtis's niche should be there. While I'm at the cemetery, I might as well take some time out to remember those who died in both world wars, including my great uncle, William Anthony, who went missing in Dunkirk. God bless. Bingo, I found plot P. And there's a crematorium right there. So I believe Ian Curtis should be located nearby. Wish me luck. Let's go see if we can find the grave. Oh, I'm sorry, the crematorium niche of Ian Curtis. I think I'm in striking distance. This one, uh, and here it is. Oh my goodness. It's like the most visited crematorium niche in this whole cemetery. The one and only Ian Curtis, who left this world the 18th of May, 1980. Sally, this is also the same anniversary of death as Chris Cornell of Soundgarden, who died in tragic circumstances. And fans, they still keep flocking. They've left flowers. They've left compasses. They've left, you know, signs of the horns. There's somebody from Spain who's left like a little box there. People even leave their train tickets from Bolton to Macclesfield. And all these other coins from around the world. Just to see the one man, Ian Curtis. So Ian, I did not come prepared today. I left London last night at 11.30 and I got to Stoke-on-Trent at 4.20 today. I got the train out to Macclesfield. And I've been walking the streets, trying to get some breakfast. And I couldn't find a flower shop. And I'm not too sure if there's a flower shop nearby. But I'm offering you some money to spend in the afterlife. It's not much, but it's my mark of respect for you. Two pence. God bless you, Ian Curtis. Thank you. For the two albums you made with Joy Division. You will always be remembered, even in the next 60 years. May your memory live on and influence my great nieces and great great nieces and nephews. Deborah was the person who put the inscription on your grave. Love will tear us apart. It's like the song you wrote for her.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Bring all souls to heaven, especially those in vision of my mercy. Forgive me for mis saying that like prayer wrong. So, I'm just about to leave Ian Curtis' grave now. So all you gotta do is find Plot P. This statue, it's not far from this crematorium here. And I'd say it's in short walking distance from the main entrance. It'll probably take you maybe five minutes to walk from the main entrance to his grave. So goodbye Ian. God bless. Take care. Love will tear us apart. Amen. You see, all what you need to do is, right, that's the front gate there. You just have to keep on walking up through, past that big roundabout, go th through it, past all these green area trees, and just lead you straight there. I should just head it straight, but my instincts made me go left and right. And man, what a beautiful place to spend eternity. I mean, look at all this greenery right there. And all the wildlife that comes by.